going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Welcome to God's View. Hello and welcome to God's View. We're so glad you joined us. Remember while we're going through the program to call the prayer lines 307-637-PRAY. It's very easy to remember, P-R-A-Y, 7-PRAY, that's 7729 at the end. Always periodically across the bottom of the screen and full shot behind my head so that you can, uh, you know, I'm, it, my heart is that you do not go through things alone. You know, there's power in agreement and you can get breakthrough and we will sincerely take your prayer to the throne room of God and see, hopefully, your breakthrough like now you know, quickly, swiftly, in the mighty name of Jesus. And thank you for joining us. Please get your favorite drink. You may have been one that was just clicking through the channel, and I hear it all the time on the prayer lines, and say, wow, i never seen this show, but I sat down, I watched, and I was really touched by God. Well, that is so our heart, and that's God's heart. He wants you to be touched. We're a TV talk show, takes on topics, and we preach and teach on those topics. So stay tuned, because God sometimes prophesies, he ministers, he prays, it's all kinds of different things. He, he just does what he wants. We never know what each other's gonna say. We just take a topic, and then the Holy Spirit always flows. And so um, we love what we do, and we love coming into your home, and we love for us both to be blessed and encouraged. So again, get your favorite drink, join us around the table, and we've got a great subject unbelief Ooh. it's going to it's really going to hit home because we all need to be reminded of it because mm -hmm. it tries to always creep in yeah. and with that said i'm charming back to mary your god's view host welcome welcome this is stephanie besh we have priscilla pruitt we have lana gardner and thank you we all thank you so much for joining us you know um <clears throat> i don't know the address right now but you know uh god says um nothing is impossible for those who believe. Mm -hmm. So you've got to believe because if there's doubt and there's unbelief, then it's always going to try to come in, creep in, and it's yeah. always, and I call it settling on the promises of God. Yeah. Like it'll come in suddenly and just all of a sudden you'll just have this thought in your mind and you'll think, God, I don't know if that's really going to happen. Well, and that's the enemy, and it's doubt, and it's unbelief. God says all things are possible to those who believe. So in that moment, you take captive that thought, yes. okay, sure. to the obedience of Christ, and you say, I, I rebuke that, whatever you want to do, however God moves, you know, in and through you. I happen to be one of those that constantly take my thought captive to the obedience of Christ because the devil's always putting things in. And may I tell you right now, I've had people that I've prayed for and ministered to, and you know what they say, girls? They always say, um, oh, I, I feel so dirty and I feel so bad and I feel mm. so awful because of that, that thought and I thought that. Let me tell you something. You didn't think that. The devil put that thought yeah. there. And so when you separate the two like that, then you will know that you know you, you you will feel better you will be able to attack this thing better because the thought life god puts devil puts and so you think you just think up something weird like that no the devil puts that thought in your mind so when you separate those two it has helped so many people i mean help me when god taught me that i mean i was right like, mm -hmm. oh yay i didn't think yes. that awful thing yes i mean because when when you feel like you've thought something like mm -hmm. that you're thinking right where did that come from and all of you probably say the same thing. It shocks you. It shocks you because it's not you. It's not your nature. It's not God's spirit. It's not how he created you. He created you pure. He created you whole. He created you with wonderful things. And, and he wants you to have good thoughts and things good about yourself. And so I want to read this scripture just really quick in Romans 14, 23. But whoever has doubt, just say unbelief, is condemned if they eat because their eating is not from faith. And everything that does not come from faith is sin. That's a serious scripture. You know, um, and I say that a lot because, um, you know, I mean, I happen to read that, but I can quote it. But here's the thing. Everything that is not of faith, because if you don't believe, it's not faith, okay? There's faith, there's mm -hmm. fear. You operate out of faith, you operate out of fear. You out, operate out of faith or you operate out of doubt. You operate out of faith or you operate out of unbelief. I mean, it's just 
bottom mm -hmm. line. Mm -hmm. And so when you when you see things that way, it's so serious because I say this <clears throat> over and over. And of course, I like to hear it too. You get what you believe. Mm -hmm. You get what you believe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You do. Yeah. You start believing. That's right. You know when you were young. What was the manifestations when all of a sudden you started feeling terrible about yourself, Stephanie? You started believing you couldn't. You didn't want to go. That's anywhere, right. You didn't want to do anything. You wanted to kill yes. yourself. You want to open what the door happens? to fear yeah. and yeah. and hopelessness and yeah. yeah, the lies of the enemy. Absolutely. Yeah. That's what it starts. Begin to believe that, and and then unbelief towards Christ. Yes. Stopped. There, you, that you is know. powerful. Yes. That's yes. powerful. Right there. Yes. That is powerful. Yeah. Unbelief. Well, you know, is okay. Yeah, Unbelief is a lack of a religious belief or absence of faith, like mm -hmm. you just said. It's a rejection of the will of God, and you never think of it like that. That's how serious it is. So, just like you said, those thoughts came in. It was rejecting the truth and the mm -hmm. will and the word of God. And but but He does have grace and mercy on us when we come to Him. Yes. Because think about in Mark mm -hmm. nine, where that father brought his son to Jesus yeah. and the son had that deaf, dumb, mute spirit. And he's mm -hmm. like, tell me about this, Jesus. And, and Jesus is like, I, he can be free mm -hmm. if you believe nothing's oh, impossible. Yeah. And he just spoke it, the truth out. He said, I believe, but then help my unbelief. Yes. So we help. can tell him, yes, yes. please good. help me in this. Like I'm trying to believe yes. the truth. I want to receive the truth. Yeah, I don't want to have a hardened heart. I don't want to be against you. Yeah. And then Jesus healed him. That's mm -hmm. good. You know, with, with that, I was thinking about Hebrews 3, 12, where it talks about the peril of unbelief. Mm, but you know what that means? Yeah. Serious and immediate danger. Wow. Exposed or, or to be threatened. And wow. so what he was talking about is like Moses, when he got them out of Egypt, then their hearts hardened. So they yeah. had a miracle. They got to leave Egypt. Yes. They got to leave slavery, yeah. all the unbelief. That's good. And then their hearts hardened and they went right back yeah. into it. And yeah. they were in so immediate different. danger. Mm -hmm. And so there's a difference when your heart is hardened to mm -hmm. where that father came with just, I don't know better and mm -hmm. I want to know better. Please yeah. help me. Mm -hmm. All you have to do That's is call so in the name of Jesus. He will help you. That's very if you, good. Yeah. If you Amen. don't have the faith, ask him for it. Uh -huh. yes. When you don't have the wisdom, ask him for it, and yeah. he will give it freely. Mm -hmm. That's, That's how good he is. With this. Mm -hmm. um, just real quick, I was going through yeah. the same yeah. place yeah. because I just want someone to know that if they're watching minutes. and they're not a Christian, and maybe they're into Hinduism, or maybe they're into Buddhism, or whatever you're into, and you're just questioning, that's a good place to be. That's not what we're talking about here. And that's why I love mm -hmm. what you said, because mm -hmm. if you're in that place, it's great to be somewhere where you're actually questioning, like, God, if you're real, like, just show, show up, show me. I want to know. It's a good place to ask God, you know, hey, God, reveal yourself to me. You yeah. know, I would rather you do that than to just take someone's word for fact and be like, okay, Jesus is real. Okay, I, and then you don't know God in a personal, right. real way that's mm -hmm. gonna actually yeah. stick, that's rooted mm -hmm. in him. Because when you have a personal encounter and you feel the presence of God or you hear his voice for the first time, you'll never question it, just like Charlene was talking about. So if you're questioning it, just ask God, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. ask him, hey God, I wanna encounter you. It says in Revelation yes. 3.20 that listen, I am standing and, and knocking on the door of your heart, he's saying. He's standing right there knocking. He wants to be in. Come in. If you hear my voice and you open the door, I will come in and we will eat together. Because God is a gentleman. He's not going to just come into your heart and push his way in. He wants right. you to ask him. And when you ask him and invite him, he's going to come in and you're going to fellowship with him. You're going to have an encounter that will never be, it can never be uprooted. That's going to be a personal, real encounter. And that's why Charlene, or no, Stephanie was yeah. mentioning that with the people, the Israelites that were actually rescued out of Egypt, they saw the miracle. Yes. That's not okay. They saw the power of God, and yeah. then yet they questioned right. it afterwards. Yes. Yeah. That's a whole different that's story. Heart that's heart. not what we're talking about. Yep. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. uh, and... The Israelites never made it into the promised they land. Didn't. Are you kidding? Yes, exactly. Never yes, made yes. it into the promised land the because of like unbelief. It. That's pretty scary. Yeah. Jesus, yeah. God, could not minister in his own hometown because yes. of unbelief. Wow. Right. That's and right. And here we go. Listen wow. to this. Revelations 21.8 says, mm. but the fearful and the unbelieving uh huh. Does yeah. that include any Christians that you might know? Yeah. Maybe us, maybe ourselves. 
at times. Revelations, God puts it with the corrupt, the murderers, the immoral, the adulterers, the witchcraft, the liars. Their fate is in the lake of burning Burning sulfur. sulfur. This is the second death. Mm-hmm. I mean, are yep. you kidding? That's God so is so serious <laughs> about good. unbelief yeah. yes. that, that we have to just uh, know that people are victorious because they'll endure to the end, yes. believing God. Because as long as this remnant, all, mm-hmm. all yes. of us, mm-hmm. are believing and standing and praying, God is bringing the abundant life that he came to bring. Yeah. Amen. Yes. When the rapture sure comes, here, yeah. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, unbelieving can also mean not believing when God speaks a word to you. Like if God specifically says something mm-hmm. to you mm-hmm. and you go the opposite way, that that's the same thing we're talking about. That too mm-hmm. right there yes. can be very dangerous territory. But believing what God says and acting in it, there's a there's like a gift that comes yeah. with that. Yeah. There is a like wow power that comes behind that for instance the story of abraham and sarah it says in hebrews 4 19 without weakening in his faith yes. abraham faced the fact that his body was as good as dead since he was about 100 years old and that sarah's womb was also dead god spoke to abraham and told him that he would be the father of many nations but abraham had no children and since he was almost 100 it says that he faced the fact that his body was as good as dead and that his wife that was 90, that her womb was also dead. Yeah. But it goes on to say in verse 20, yet he did not waver through unbelief. Yes. yes. Regarding yeah. the promise of yes. God. Don't waver. That's he right. said it. God said it. He yes. believed exactly. it. Exactly. Right. But he was strengthened. It says that he was strengthened in his faith. In fact, he was like, okay, I'm going to yes. have this and use this yeah. as strength. And he strengthened his faith He's and he gave glory to God. Yes. yes. And it says in verse 21, being fully persuaded, he was fully persuaded that God had the power to do what he promised. Mm -hmm. We have to believe that whatever God tells us, that God has the full power, that if he says it, it's as good as done. That's right. It's done. done. And (laughs) and what happened? Not only did he have a son named Isaac, but through Isaac came the 12 tribes of Israel. And it says that God credited to him as righteousness. Yes. That's a big deal. So powerful. Mm -hmm. So powerful. You know, I I, I always think of of the disciples that when they were trying to cast out a demon of a child, Mm -hmm. they couldn't. The disciples that were right alongside of Jesus. And and they said to Jesus, you know, they said, we can't cast this demon out. So demon, I mean demon. Je, uh, Jesus, <laughs> came over, <laughs> Jesus came over and cast the demon out. And yeah. they said, but Lord, we said the same thing that you did. Why couldn't we cast it out? Jesus said, <laughs> because of your unbelief. Wow. And he yep. said, this sort of demon That's comes with fasting and praying. Yes. You mm-hmm. know, first fruits, the first thing we do, yeah. we give to God. And I mm-hmm. remember going to a meeting where there was this great evangelist and he was casting out demons and people were getting yeah. healed and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Well, he told us later that the Lord specifically spoke to him during the meeting and told him to go over to this one man who couldn't bend over. I mean, he was like a robot. The poor thing just, just couldn't move, move, bend over. So he just walked over in all his power and glory and, and uh, said, Try to bend over. And the man tried, couldn't do it. Said it again because Jesus even had to pray a couple of times when with he the was, eyes. Mm-hmm. With the eyes. Mm-hmm. Yes. So he, he said it again, bend over. Um, and the man couldn't do it. He said, try to bend over. Man couldn't do it. So he backed off and went on to minister to other people. But then it kept bothering him because he remembered wow. God told him to go to this man. So after he ministered a while, he went over back to the man. He said, in the name of Jesus, bend over. Yes. Ooh, I got goosebumps. Yes. Power and authority. <laughs> yes. yes, there yeah. is the power and authority. The faith. The belief, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, we, That's where God wants us. Yes, yeah. and I, I was thinking as you were talking, the scripture that says, those that diligently seek him, who is Jesus, will be rewarded. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah. the more yes. you seek the Lord, the more you read the word, the more you pray and have that intimate relationship with him, the more your faith will grow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The more that belief will rise up and you will start declaring, mm-hmm. wait, by the stripes of Jesus Christ, I was healed. I'm healed. 
Yeah. Nothing is impossible with my God. Yes. Exactly. So I can do this. I can do all things through Christ who uh -huh. strengthens me. And greater is he yes. in yes. me than he that is in the world. Yes. The more you seek him, yes. the more your the belief more you him. Mm -hmm. will grow. And, you know, and if you a... don't seek him, your mind is arguing with God. Yes. Yes. That's true. Always. I mean, come Powerful. on. And I think there's a cohort that really works alongside, and we all know this, is disobedience. Mm. When there's unbelief, you're, you're disobeying God. Yeah. You're mm -hmm. flat disobeying God. Yeah. And God may have told you something. You have mm -hmm. a call on your life. He may have given you specific instructions. And you're saying, oh, uh, you know, this happened and that happened. But you disobeyed. You did not believe. And along the way, somebody came in. And it's like that scripture when it says in Galatians, it says you were running your waist. What came in and bewitched you? Yeah. What came in and took you oh, off of yes. your yes. race? What came yes. in? And in, in this story, you know, the Lord told me to uh, look this up while the girls were talking in uh, 1 Kings 13. You know, the old prophet and the young prophet. You know, he told, the, he told the young prophet to go. He gave him specific instructions in his journey in life that was going to accomplish something. Mm -hmm. But along the way, he allowed what God said, unbelief come and disobedience because he believed a man's word over the word of the Lord. And it's really serious when you're going along life's path that if you start a little bit entertaining unbelief, like I said, when a thought comes and then all mm -hmm. of a sudden you just, you know, you kind of give into it or you think, oh God, that's true. No, 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 no. You got to believe and you have to obey those two. And this prophet, it said, it, it, I won't read all this. It's just a whole lot. But he goes along. He's going along the way. God tells him on his way, you know, basically the little bit of the story, not to drink water, eat any food, because this is going to happen. The certain things going to take place, you know. So he's going along his way. The older prophet ends up telling him, no, well, God gave me a word too. And God told me you're to come to my house and eat. But God told him, if you do not Believe my word, obey my word, yeah. surely you will die. Mm. Yes. Die. You know, it could be death to you spiritually. Yes, it, could be, it can't. Exactly it could be death. What it, is. it could be death yes. to your yeah, physical. Yes. Listen, it, it could be death. Yeah. Yes. yes. This is a serious thing we're talking yes. about. So what's he do? He listens to the older prophet because so many people are doing this today. Because this man of God has such a name. Well, you know what? How many have we seen fall yep. into adultery? Yes. I mean, big mm -hmm. men of God with yep. well-known names that were peer ministries and fell. And everybody fell right with them. Yep. Because yep. they thought they were all that in a bag of chips. Because they listened so to their yep. voice, man's voice, yes. that is actually sinking yep. sand. If you're not checking yes. it out like the Brians, mm -hmm. making sure this man is following or woman or whoever it is. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, he believes him, and what's he do? He dies. Mm -hmm. Because the older prophet, I'm a prophet, and I know, and I'm, you know, God, I'm really anointed, and I'm appointed, mm -hmm. and, and God told me to tell you. <laughs> and we were just talking about stuff yes. like this earlier, offset. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. God told me that you're yeah. supposed to. Do this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when you're hearing somebody else come to you and say, God told me you're supposed to, yeah. right there, every red flag you will end up going down the road of unbelief and disobedience yeah. because god mm -hmm. told you mm -hmm. <laughs> he spoke to you mm -hmm. and this is all noise to come in mm -hmm. and cause you to detour from yeah. The destination right. that you are yeah. supposed to arrive to right. mm -hmm. just saying right. like the yeah. israelites uh -huh. yes yeah <clears throat> you know the other day my husband and i were talking and he was saying oh you know, I don't eat eggs because I read la la la. But you know what? In the Bible, if it says certain things, like even corn, oh, he yeah. said corn, you don't eat corn, mm -hmm. it's not healthy. Well, in the Bible, they ate corn. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if it says so in the Bible, you don't have to listen to anything That's you hear from yes. any mm -hmm. scientist, any brilliant mind. Just listen to what that's right. That's right. That, that's yes. all that's important. And then stick with it. Stick with it. And you know, God said the, the importance of believing is that God said when you believe, all things are possible. Okay, yes. please hear me. God said all things are possible. All things. You see, yes. as soon as you, you want, you have a need, and you, you want something. 
right away the devil's going to come in and put doubt in your mind. So that's why you have to remember that God said, all things are possible. Mm -hmm. And you know, the Lord said this morning just to take this, bring this Bible out, the Passion Version, and read out of it. Colossians. Mm -hmm. You know, this is, this is how, <laughs> this is how amazing God is. You know, I mean, he knows everything, what anybody's going to talk about. I know what she's going to talk about. We don't know what anybody's <laughs> yeah. going to talk about. Yeah. But you know, when you went to the eating and don't let, you know, yeah. all that kind of stuff. Well, right here in Colossians um, uh, 2, number 16. So why would you allow anyone to judge you because of what you eat or drink or insist that you keep the feast, observe new moon celebrations or the Sabbath? All of these were but a prophetic shadow and the evidence of what would be fulfilled. For the body is now Christ. Don't let anyone disqualify you from your prize. And what we're talking about, if you fall prey to another voice or reading something like Lana said, and mm -hmm. you just say, I'm going to do this. Did you, did God say, That's let's right. do, let's just yeah. say this. Did God say, That's it says, right. don't let anyone disqualify you from your prize. Don't let your mm. pretended sincerity fool you as mm. they deliberately mm. lead you into your intuition mm. of angel worship. Now, listen, mm. I'm a girl that loves dancing in the river. I love angels showing up. <laughs> I love all that kind of stuff now. Okay. Yeah. But but in this hour, you have got to check everything out yes. because what did God say? We're in this day, in a season, in a time, in a dispensation on earth where the devil's doing as many miracles as the church is and people are falling prey. Yes. And God warned us of this. And he's mm -hmm. warning us right here. It says you into the initiation of angel worship because we never follow anything. You know, signs, wonders, and miracles follow us. We don't follow it. And if we see an angel, let's run into that meeting mm -hmm. next week because right. angels show up. This is God to stop okay it's got to yes. stop for they take pleasure in pretending mm -hmm. to be experts of something they know nothing about their reasoning is meaningless and comes only from their own yeah. opinions they refuse to take hold of the true source believe i'm telling yes. you this is yes. but we receive yep, that's, that's good. what does it say we receive directly from him yes. and his life supplies yes. vitality into every part wow. i mean it, it goes on and i, I that's mean, good i chair. made that's my powerful. point yeah. you know but god says this morning bring this out okay bring this this version and i you know i highlight mm -hmm. what i'm supposed to yes. say because look how wonderful he is yeah. he always you know if you're into a place you're even in mm -hmm. somebody's life right now you know we were talking about this earlier too yes um, if, if somebody's in your life and you're getting checks, for the love of God, don't be like, oh, but, you know, I can't be mean. Or You don't have to be mean, but you have to obey God That's because right. yes. it's going to take you down a wrong path. It may yeah. taint you. It may, who knows what it could be. But you have to listen to the Holy Spirit. What we're saying right now about unbelief and disobedience and mm -hmm. hearing the voice of God in yes. faith and fear, yes. this is a serious thing that we are talking about. You know, I mean, yeah. you run into a service or you listen, you mm -hmm. turn on a TV show like this. But please today, if you listen to this show, yeah. listen, hear, embrace it, take it and allow it to change you. Yes. Wow. Yes. That's good. You know, in Hebrews 3.12, it actually says... When with an unbelieving heart is called evil, just what you were talking about. Yeah. It says wow. it puts you in serious and immediate danger, threatened, yeah. exposes you to danger, mm -hmm. and you will miss the promises of God. Wow. That's what it's talking about. Yes. And it says today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as you did in rebellion. Yeah. Yes. And so just like what you were talking yeah. about, how the decision of being obedient versus disobedient and, and coming together to unbelief yes. or believing. And religion yes. is the biggest thing that tries to steal yes. your your belief, your faith. Yes. And I, I, I'm going to just finish it. this next part now because God says this is okay for this part. You were included in the death of Christ and have died with him to religious systems mm -hmm. and powers of the world. Don't mm -hmm. retreat back to being bullied by the standards and opinions of religion. Like what to eat, wow. what not to eat, what wow. to believe, what yep. not to believe, wow. what you read and what man says. Mm -hmm. For example, it says there are strict requirements, which don't you feel so sometimes when people are doing all that and trying to lay that on you? It's just it's requirements. It's yes. man's opinions. Yep. Yep. You can't associate with that person. 
Yeah. Yes. Don't eat that or you can't touch that. These are the doctrines of men and correct yes. customs yes. that are worthless to help you spiritually. Mm -hmm. For through they, though they may appear to possess the promise of wisdom and their submission to God through the deprivation yeah. of their yeah. physical bodies, it is actually nothing more than an attempt Rules rooted in religious rituals. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Whoa. Wow. Ah, Jesus. That's heavy. Unbelief that's counteracts. Heavy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, look, yeah, I love that she brought brother. up Ananias and Sapphira. <laughs> oh what happened to them for not believing? Yes. Oh it says that, oh you know, they sold their yeah. land and secretly withheld my. a portion of the yeah. proceeds. Mm -hmm. They lied not to men, but to God. Yes. yes. God. They lied to God and yes. they were, they died on the spot. Yes. Died on the, yeah. And, and they were in agreement. That's the hour. Be careful who you're in agreement with. Yes. That's. And you know, you know yes, what? God has had that point. True. We're going to have to go right now. I know you're going to oh, have to oh say no, something. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, I know he's going to hold it that time. Is it, is it like really fast? Because he's going to hold Real it fast. up. Okay, okay, hurry up. Hurry, okay. Hurry, hurry. Well, uh, no, I forgot She's what not. I was going to say. Okay. Jesus healed. And every time he say, he, I know not every time, but many times Jesus healed, he said, your faith. Yes, 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 has made you whole. Mm, yeah, that's the truth. Amen. That's the well, gospel that's truth. Gospel yeah. truth. You amen. know what? And we're going to end with that today, and I'll tell you why. We would like, um, you know, we never ask for um, funding, but, you know, we really need some partners. And you know what? Partners, if we had a bunch of partners at $5 a month, what we could do. Mm -hmm. that, you know, there's so many networks we are waiting to go on so that somebody can be touched with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And if you send us, you get the same reward. Won't you consider and pray and ask God, have we been a blessing to you? I mean, there's 14 years of people saying, you changed my life. Mm -hmm. Okay, if we change your life, can you do $5 a month? Can you come and partner with us to help keep us coming into your home and around the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ? We'd love that today. And you can always go to our um, website. See here, I don't promise you a bunch of stuff. You're going to get 15 things if you give us. That's not that. That doesn't ha how we roll around here. You're going to get a reward in heaven. You give to us, you're going to get a reward, okay, in heaven. And then with that said, hey, Jesus, Jesus, call on the name of Jesus. He is what you need. He is your vital need right now. He is everything you need to breathe and life. I'm telling you, if you will receive Jesus today, and everybody who calls on his name, it says, will be saved. You don't have to say it a certain way. If you are broken today, yeah. and you're saying, I'm hearing the voice of this lady, she says, you're going to make things better, then just say, Jesus, I believe it. Listen, I mean, he'll come and whew, and he'll start changing, shifting, and doing things in your life, your children's life, your marriage, your finances. I'm telling you, it happened to all of us up here. And he is so good. He, it's the goodness of God that brings people to repentance. You may have heard of a judging, mean father, but he's not that. He's a good father. I'll tell you, judging, mean, awful father was my father in the world. My father in heaven has never been mean to me, never been cruel to me, never abused me, and he won't abuse you. Please Please accept his son today and be with us in heaven. We can always see you in heaven. Call 307-637-PRAY if you did that so we can pray with you and help you along your walk. You know, all heaven's rejoicing if you did it. Listen, we got to go. It's only goodbye for today. Thank you for joining us. Remember, God's got a view and God's got a view personally for you. Going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Welcome to God's View. Oh,